Good morning OSB Piggy people. I, I am Lucy Kenny living in South Lincolnshire and I'm here to cook a Keralam Pandi which is a South Indian coconut pork curry using of course OSB prime pork. 200 grams, tin of chopped tomatoes, coriander leaf or fresh coriander but I can't get any at the minute um, to go in at the end, sea salt, ground turmeric, ground coriander, ground cumin, onions, bake cut into strips, minced garlic, five cloves, tablespoonful of fresh ginger grated, um, green chilli diced, three, these are dehydrated from last year, red chillies and a teaspoonful of fennel which is optional. We actually um, seasoned this well with salt pepper. and black pepper, copious amounts to your taste. Okay, finally a teaspoon of ground turmeric. And then just stir it all round so it's nice and evenly coated. So we're going to heat a wide pan and add a tablespoon or two of oil. And then when it's hot, add the whole fennel and red chilies if you are using them. So here we go, so that's hot now. Then we add the onions and sort in till they start to turn brown. So I'll just give that a few minutes longer. No, not even minutes really. Yeah. And then we'll just cook that off till it goes starts to go brown. How are you doing it, Miss Piggy? Right, this is about ready, it's just beginning to turn brown. So we're going to add the garlic now. We'll give that a minute before we add the next things. Run a tin of tinned tomatoes. chopped green chilli and grated ginger wish you could smell this guys like the smell of garlic and ginger give it a stir It to bubble, we add a uh, teaspoonful of turmeric, spoon of coriander ground, and two teaspoonfuls of cumin seeds ground. And then we'll let it reduce and thicken. It's reduced, we're just going to add pork that's been seasoned with salt, pepper and turmeric. And coat it with salt. I have used pork dice before from the shoulder but just cook it for a bit longer. Um, this is using pork steak and just trimming off the fat which I wouldn't normally do but it recommended it in the original recipe I saw. 
We're going to cover it now and leave it for 10 minutes. For 10 minutes, we've got to this stage. Oh, it smells delicious. Just the blend of spices is amazing. So, um, we're now going to add the coconut milk. warm that through. I love coconut milk. And at the beginning I used um, sunflower oil, but I have used coconut oil, coconut oil in the past, and that was really tasty as well. There we go, just going to put the lid on that till it warms through. So, now that we've uh, let that heat through, I'm going to add the green beans. Fresh ones would have been nice, but these are just out of the freezer. And give it a quick stir. And we'll just leave that for 10 minutes. Now we've got uh, the beans are cooked nicely, so all we have left to do now is add the lime juice. And should be fresh coriander, but the pandemic has put pay to uh, getting fresh coriander around here anyway, and mine isn't grown yet, so it's going in with dried coriander I'm afraid. And then job done. Bon appetit. Having filmed for Lucy she's given me the task of tasting this curry which looks by the way amazing and smells amazing. And tastes amazing. Thank you, Andrew. You're welcome. Very good.